when it comes to mining in Sims 4, there are different types of mods. There are big mods and there are some small mods. And I have some small mods for you to check out today. What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. And if you need my channel, welcome to the dark side because today's mod list is something you can sink your teeth into. And yes, I know it's November now and Halloween is over, but look, the year's going by fast and these days are going by fast and we're almost in 2023. So you can bear with me. But luckily, mods are year round and we don't have to really worry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in. Because the first mod I want to go ahead and show you is the more kisses mod from Maple Bell. Now, shout out to Maple Bell for sending this mod over to me. I really appreciate it. So, for those of you who like to do a little romance here and you want more interactions with actual animations, because we all know The Sims is notorious for giving us interactions that don't really have anything that goes along afterward. It's just an interaction, it's like always repeated. Then Maple Bell is to the rescue and it gives you more new kiss animations. So, you have, uh, uh, okay, I almost booked that but steamy kiss shy kiss hug and surprise kiss and amorous kiss and amorous kiss please I, I, don't roast me okay leave me alone it's like 11 15 p.m and you know i i don't know how to english anymore and be like that sometimes so all you have to do is really just put this in your mods for it's quick and simple now it is hidden underneath the romance category so make sure you find yourself a lover like i did for my sim which i actually made them a hundred romance before they actually met because i thought they met doing some hot steamy kissing in front of her apartment in the hallway which they could probably do just you know in the apartment but you know it'd be like that sometimes so these animations are nice you may see some clipping but you know what it, it'd be like that sometimes okay sims are doing more than they usually do i'm grateful for that i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you just, i'm tired of getting the same little kiss especially when you do the little shy kid with the first kiss you know oh there's a shy kiss here but you, you know what i'm talking about at least i think you know what i'm talking about anyway if you have anything else in the interactions queue it may conflict but other than that it should be fine you get a little bus with this which are, are adorable and i love buffs i love when you get a new pie menu with new interactions new animations and you also give buffs i love i, I just love that okay the sims 4 please take note yeah if you want to take this out from maple Bell, go right ahead but let's move to the next mod which is also from maple Bell. and again thank you for sending this over it is the senior trip mod now for those of you who have the high school years or if you don't have high school years and you really want to do more with your teenage sims which they desperately need more you know in my opinion you can have the senior trip mod which allows your sims to go on a senior trip so i don't know know about you but when i was in high school i did have a freshman junior sophomore senior trip kind of thing our freshman class went camping i'm still scarred for life sophomores went to new york juniors went to philadelphia and then seniors we didn't do shit we literally i think we had like half days i'm not too sure it was like it's, it was 10 years ago no 11 years ago so i really don't remember but in the sims your your teens can choose from a variety of things now there are two different files you have fictional names for trips and you have real names for trips all your sims really have to do is vote Vote on the trip and then wherever makes the cut which depending on whatever your sim chose you'll pay the fee and then your sim will be gone for like a duration of time for the real life locations you have chile new york big horn national forest china toronto egypt and paris let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to any of these locations if you live in any of these locations or if you were a teenager you're on a senior trip and you had these options which one would you choose for me i would have chose egypt because i really want to go to egypt and of course there are the fictional aso switchesh erobia forest tibisia trento Terska and Valley. I'm butcher these names. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is also another one you can get. The prices for the trips vary. 1300 simoleons to 350 simoleons. I think the trip she went for Egypt was like 2500 simoleons. Uh, 12 fifth. I don't know. It was expensive. I, that's all I know. But yeah, you can go also check this out from Maple Bulb. Let's move on to the next mod. All right. Now, for those of you who love to just get down and dirty and just start some drama, this next mod may be like a great fit for you. Now, I've actually covered this mod in the past however it's on v4 now i'm talking about the low life and losers mod from wicked pixel this mod here has a lot of new interactions i'm talking 63 interactions all right so if you are very averse to cursing it, it it gets dirty it gets nasty here all right so all you have to do is give your sim the low life and losers mod i actually chose donald Thario because who else but donald Thario is the biggest low life and losers mod. and when i got to his household i was like what's going on here boo like why what, what, what's going on are these your kids are they 
way and i was like oh no you're just breaking up families here i was like okay well that's none of my business so the low life and losers mod these sims only care about themselves which you know is granted they want all the attention on them and think everything they do is superior unfortunately reality rears its ugly head and they're forced to compensate for their shortcomings i wonder what kind of shortcomings they're compensating for these sims will give off bad vibes cause negative reactions can drain the energy of others and create traumatic experiences and also probably uh eat your food don't pay bills and pro you know and cheat on you but <laughs> that's not part of the description i just added that on all you really have to do as you give this on the trait is you have a new pie menu low life loser and you have all the interactions that you can possibly do to a sim to make them mad at you to make them hate you or depending on the situation you can make it more customized so like cuss out dangerous behavior you can be dead beat eagle manical master minute player i know why i know i butchered that leave me alone okay i got the first part you can do a public freak out you can do a put down you can uh manipulate somebody for money you can like love bomb them with false sense of happiness you can call them a whole ass bitch if you want to there's a but that's you can say that's a bunch of bullshit you can tell them to piss off apparently they just behavior categories attempt to kill or use emotional booze and threaten to attack uh you know a little trigger warning but let's see you can do like a plan about the economy money real tight right now you can be like unfortunately i don't have my rent money with me honest i really wish the landlords came at you like that but you know it'd be like that sometimes there are so many interactions like i said there are 63 interactions that wicked pistol has put into this mod to make your sims hate you well to make other sims hate you because you know you're a low life you're a loser you are you probably hate yourself so why not let everybody else hate you too anyway you can go down on this mod right now but let's move on to the next mod all right so making a complete 180 from being a low life we're gonna talk about healthy food here because you know we're all trying to eat healthier at least i am okay i'm cutting out bread i suppose i got cheese like jesus christ cheese and plus i had an ice cream today i look me and dairy I, we it's it, it's child i just i just can't but anyway this is the healthy food delivery mod from somik and sovrinka shout out to them for saying this mod over to me i was actually waiting for this mod to come out i knew it was in testing I, I waited for it to be released and here it is so basically what this mod does it allows your sims to order some healthy food delivery so all you have to do is go to the phone and you'll have a new little option that says order food and it'll say like ss and you choose your options and then you can just scroll through forever you want i thought this was cool because you can have some meal plans your sims can buy but they kind of expect like 225 simons but you know if your sims are really looking at doing delivery for healthy food options i mean they got the money if they go and got the money mother load left click where you add cheese i mean it's, it's a possible <laughs> you'll get money or you know go ask emily tell her i sent you get that 5k real quick <laughs> do that tutorial but uh yeah your sims can get a lot of food options little healthy food options like this meal kits like monday and tuesday i think it came with like four meal options for like lunch breakfast and dinner and then you also had like a smoothie like banana smoothie i thought it was cute also samika Sareka are one of the creators that really make their food look delicious like a lot of the food creators make their food delicious look at is that a quiche no that was oatmeal i don't know what that was but it looked good <laughs> all right i wanted that but i didn't want to go through the house of actually getting there probably making it because to be honest i get cramps in my feet now when i'm standing up by the stove doing you know staying for a long period of time i don't know it'd be like that but anyway moving on the boxes they come in is really cute too like the details chef's kiss love it here so yeah to do that storyline make sure you check out this mod from samika zavlinka but let's move on to the next mod all right doing another complete 180 you're probably getting whiplash but the spirits myths and legends mod is something that you should be checking out especially for your sims that want to do a little spice in your life you know spice up your life you have i'm sorry spice girl's face really kicked in this mod is from cosmic zephyrus i think i spelled i think i almost said spelled your name right i think i said your name right and all it does it lets your sims tell some urban myth gives your sims some buffs and maybe scares some sims in the process okay so from the actual page spirits myth and legend story interactions introduces, introduces 11 new interactions for your sims to use they are creepy eerie myths and legends from around the world i wanted to include something for the halloween season so here it is this was a lot of work with researching these legends and trying to keep it as concise as i could when you load into the game you will see a brand new pie menu spirits myth and legends sorry are the new interactions they are labeled by the country they inhabit so that way you get a little surprise for what creature you get to read about these through elders can use the main interactions which is cool so you have stories from it says brazil egypt japan malaysia mexico tanzanian and kudara kudara I, I, i'm so sorry I, I think i butchered that but it is also really cool because your sims actually get the pop-up with the actual description of what they just told someone they also get buffs so the person who told the myth gets the buff then the person who was being told about it gets a scare spooky buff i think i told old uh sylvester i 
I'm, I'm sorry. This is Sim name, not Sylvester. I'm sorry. I almost called him Simeon. I'm sorry. But I think I told him like two and then they just started running away being scared. I was like, oh, well, oh, that's cool. That's suspicious. I'm sorry. But yeah, that, I thought this was pretty cool. And it did say it's with the Halloween season, but you know, you can use Zilly around. Okay. You know, especially for your Sims who want to be a little mischievous or, you know, they go on that school trip, which is not really, it's a rabbit hole, but you know, they go on the school, <laughs> you know, be like that sometimes. But yeah, check out this mod from Cosmic Zephyrus. Go download it right now if you want to. Move on to the next mod. All right. The last mod I want to talk to you about is the functional Ouija board. Again, it's something for Halloween, but you know, you can use it year round for them slumber parties you do, you're gonna be having. You know, with the slumber party mod. <laughs> this mod is from Tasha Tiana. And this requires the paranormal stuff pack because it kind of uses, it's kind of like a new variation of the, the table, you know, that you get with the pack. So it's kind of tricky. I did have to read the instructions, which, you know, you should do that. I always tell you to do that, but you know, sometimes I don't be doing that. And then I'm lost. And then I'm like, oh, I should have read the instructions. Like I be telling people. And you have to use BB.move objects and you have to put it in a certain way. So once you download this mod or when you get this mod, make sure you read the description because it tells you the order you have to go in in order to put this down. But once you get it, it works the same as the seance table from the paranormal pack. And, but it, you know, it makes it a little more aesthetic, a little bit more, you know, my Sam's gonna be in the basement with this with some friends and they're gonna be standing around Ouija board playing with it when they shouldn't be playing with it. You know, it gives that vibe, even though I'm doing this in the living room with somebody's making dinner, you know? In a goth residence, this will be, you know, a day-to-day -day thing. Cause you know, bust now they had the little secret entrance, the seance table, which is iconic. Thumbs up this video if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you know, I thought this was cute. Especially bring something more into it. If you have the paranormal stuff back and you haven't playing with it. Cause you don't wanna deal with the seance table you want a ouija board which they should give us a ouija board but now we have one thanks to tasha tasha tiana so yeah go check this out but that is the end of this video i hope you enjoy it don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure you check out my other mod videos i have a lot i can tell you new mods for beginners i can tell you more mods for those who are not beginners i can tell you how to install mods if you want to various mods like eg13 to trader trip you know anyway um yeah so i will see you next time bye boo Let's go.